everybody, this is Praxis, and we've been here about a week, been starting to bring things in, move in. It feels really a lot more like a home than it did a week ago. It's crazy how quickly just bring in some stuff can make it feel like your living space. Uh, at this point, the temporary place where we had been at feels like an abandoned house, and I'm trying to get stuff out of there so we can sell that place, uh, but I don't have anywhere to put that stuff. Uh, the plan is to put that out in the shed that I built out there, but the shed is full, so I want to get the shed stuff out of the shed, which is stuff supposed to be in here, uh, except there's not a lot of room in here, not a lot of storage space. I want to put it up in the storage room up there, but the storage room upstairs is now full of books, so in order to get stuff out of the shed up to the storage room, I have to get rid of the books, and that's why I'm working on the uh, bookshelves over there. That's kind of my primary project at the moment, trying to get those in, and it's kind of funny. I need to build bookshelves so I can sell the other house, uh, and uh, you know, it's just you know all these little kind of steps you have to go through. So that's kind of my primary project, but another thing that I've been working on is uh, working on kind of getting the media room here together uh, so we can do, you know, films or video games or whatever. The screen is behind you, if you guys recall, there's kind of a convoluted path where the uh, wires from the screen kind of come over to this area. This is where the HDMI jack was, and I changed my mind. And that's what this video is about, is the idea that, you know, when you put things together, uh, you know, invariably there's going to be some things where you're once you kind of get into the space, you're like, you know, I don't think that that was really the best idea. And this is something where I'm, I'm altering a little bit. The, the initial plan was that I'd have the HDMI jack here, so you'd have like decks and things here, and, you know, everything gets sent over to the screen. But in practice, you know, there's a, a futon here, and there's a little side table. If I was going to be putting, uh, like, a little shelving unit or something, which I was going to be building here uh, for holding, you know, Blu-ray player, video game players, things like that, uh, it, it's really in the way of this table here. This table has a little drawer and stuff. It was going to protrude into the room about this far if I hung it off the wall, if it was on the floor. It was just weird, to be honest, uh, just kind of how that was all going to work out. So what I came up with was to eat into the bathroom a little bit. Now this is the space in the bathroom above the washing machine. Uh, this was always going to be storage space. Uh, a lot of people will put a clothes dryer on top of their washing machine. That's kind of a common practice. but I haven't used a clothes dryer in, I don't know, maybe a decade or so. It's perfectly fine for me to just throw clothes up on a clothes drying rack or a clothesline outside. Um, you know, I think people think it's a, this awful, onerous thing to do, but it's it's really not that big of a deal, and it saves you all the energy it takes to run a, a clothes dryer and the, uh, the, the space. You get that free space. So uh, I was going to be using this space as storage anyway. Now that's an awful lot of storage for the bathroom. So what I decided to do is I'm going to eat into this wall about 17 inches or so, and I'm going to be mounting all the decks and things in a shelving unit that will be accessible right through here. So that's what I started to work on uh, here. I was able to get the HDMI and the, uh, the stereo uh, cable that I had run from there to there, uh, fished back up to here. I cut a hole in the wall and I actually I, I threw this HDMI wire down through the hole and use this as a line puller. I got it down to the bottom and taped it to the, uh, the cables that were there. I was able to pull them up and I was able to do that because I had extra down there. Whenever you can build into the process the idea that of, hey, you know, I may change this later. Let's keep some extra slack in the line. That's helpful and that helped me here. I had just enough and plus a little bit extra to get up here, so that was all good. The next step was getting power uh, up there. I just tapped off this box and you know did the same thing to get it up over there. And that's what I wanted to just talk about in this video. Whatever you do when you build a place, uh, you know, plan for the idea you may change your mind later. Uh, you know, I think the reason that I wanted to keep this space open and didn't do this initially is because I was in the mindset of like, well, you know, someday maybe there'll be someone else living here and they may want to have a clothes dryer. But you know, in sitting here and living here. I don't really care about them. <laughs> I'd rather have this space be really functional for me because I'm the one that's living here right now. So whenever you make your plans, plan for the idea you may change your mind and build into it extra slack and don't kick yourself if you come up with a better idea later. That's just life. You're getting smarter every day as you're doing things and the idea that you would come up with a better idea later because you're smarter today than you were a week ago, there's nothing wrong with that. That's it. Thanks for watching.